Dash, good evening. Well, what I could tell you is that neighbors right now are getting home from work and what they're seeing is this extensive smoke damage. Uh, firefighters telling us that the fire broke out of this second floor unit and as you could see the smoke damage just pouring out and even affecting the two upper units above. Uh, you could also see that some of the glass barrier here on the Lanai. I'm told that neighbors heard an explosion uh, of that glass and I do see some chattered glass just on the ground. So you could see there's still plenty of damage. I do see fire inspectors are inside at this hour. They're still combing through, trying to determine where and what was the cause of this fire. So far, they are confirming with us that it was a husband and wife leaving inside that unit. They say that the wife was able to make it out. Unfortunately, the husband did not, and EMS confirming at least one fatality uh, here in this incident. Uh, firefighters finding uh, that man inside one of the bedrooms. And we are also told by neighbors that they tried to help when they saw that heavy smoke and fire, but it was just too immense for them to try to do anything. The only information I have is that the woman was able to exit. Um, she did attempt to put out the fire, was unable to. She was able to safely exit the unit. Unfortunately, um, the male in the 70s was unable to exit. The guy up above us went to try and see if there was any anyone inside 206, which is where it broke out. And it was so intense, the fire that he just couldn't even get in there. Yeah, they did see members of the Red Cross on site earlier today, and I am told that they are offering services to the victim's wife, and they are also providing some shelter to residents of three other units that were also affected by this fire. Once again, Dash, this fire is under investigation. Reporting live from Wailua, Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.